you are here in the tea gardens you have interacted with the tea garden workers uh, you have you are here for the first time campaigning in the assam elections uh, although we have seen that the congress is trying hard it is a difficult election for the congress how far how far will your uh, campaign help the party it's not a question of the congress trying hard or not trying hard look the congress has put up a strong campaign a united campaign and uh, we are working every worker of the congress now understands that this election is not a congress versus bjp election this is a assam's identity versus an rss and bjp ideology election every worker in the congress understands that every leader understands that so it's not a question of trying hard i think that's not a correct way to put it i think the way to put it is that everybody has now understood that this is a fight for assam and every single congress worker every single congress leader is putting his heart into this fight because he believes in it more than anything else in this election for the first time congress has not gone solo you have formed an alliance with aiudf and the other parties here even in bengal you have formed an alliance even within the party critics have been quite skeptical about alliance with aiudf or isf how do the party sees this because a lot of people are saying that it is against the ideology of the congress party i think if you are referring to the uh, certain comments made yesterday our west bengal uh, pcc chief has already responded to those comments but um look what is being fought for in assam as i said is assam itself it is not congress party it is it is assam itself it is the identity of assamese people it is the identity of the assamese state and as i said there are differences between ideologies we may not agree 100% with what all our alliance partners uh, believe but we are together in this fight because everybody understands today that it's a fight to save assam but you have also some senior leaders they've been uh, now media is calling them g23 they have been making comments uh, you have a situation where uh, uh, a leader has joined who has been seen as a god, a god saver wor worshipper so does it not some, somewhere a kind of uh, is a contradiction with the party ideology see what the bjp has done in assam in the last 5 years uh, it's very clear what trajectory it wants assam to take it has firstly they made a lot of promises in the last election which they didn't keep one of their promises was based on ca they had said before that they are not going to implement it then they went ahead and implemented it that has had a deep impact on assam and every person in assam belonging to this party or that party everybody understands that so the fight as i said is a deeply ideological fight it is a fight for the state of assam whoever wants to stand with us in this fight stands with us in this fight you have you have come here uh, rahul gandhi has been traveling down south now what we see is that not only in assam all the other states which are going to polls uh, you're trying hard but you have not invested much in past in terms of boosting the congress you know work organizational strength every general secretary in every state is working very very hard to build the congress organization I'm in charge of UP. I'm working 24/7 on building the organization in UP. It may or may not have the results that you expect, but the work is being done daily. The general secretary here has work has been working continuously to gather our troops, to create a good campaign, to build our organization. Similarly, in every state, this work is carrying on. After the lockdown, when people were suffering and when there were floods here, where was the prime minister? and you don't say that he is parachuting when in the last 3 weeks he has been five he has done five tours of assam and in all this time when there was so much trouble here and there was there were the ca agitations there was the floods there was the lockdown they didn't come so i would say they are parachuting in because it was their responsibility as a government to look after people is your message to the voters of assam as well as why do you my think my message to voters all over the country assam and elsewhere is please recognize what you are voting for because because leaders of different parties ideologies kya kar rahe they everybody puts before you certain things now you have to understand from your own experience when they put these things before you are they keeping their promises or not are they delivering or not and are they actually working for you or not so the simple question that they should ask themselves is this party actually truthful 
is it working for me or is it working for for example the bjp uh, to my mind is working primarily to help its uh, big industrial strengths so those are the questions that the voter has to ask and he has to base it on his own life and take the correct decision primarily for himself for his state